Welcome to Fireside Projects with Jeep. I'm taking a little bit of break here from cutting the wood, but what I want to show is uh, this here is a colander uh, utensil from Ikea. It holds the utensils, that type of thing. Uh, as those of you that saw the uh, Arkies, she did a review on this. I made one of them for her. I actually learned this from Karen Cheney, I believe is her last name. I'm sorry if I mess that up. I actually learned it off her page. And I thank you very much and want to give all the credit to her because um, that's where I learned it from. But what it is, is we're going to actually, I'm going to mark it out here, draw um, where I'm going to mark in between here. And then I'll cut it out and make an opening to create the side access door that I want to add wood to and this is a hobo stove and then when we get to that point I'll show you uh, adding the bolts and how to make the stand for it and then the extra little kit that I uh, got to go along with it keeping the bug out uh, back but so I gave uh, Arky mine and she's going to use it at her homestead there so I'm gonna go ahead here and cut this out make another one here and show you how I did it so I'll be right here Let me... so what I'll do is I'll go ahead here and uh, start cutting this Okay, and as you can see, what I did is I went ahead and cut that out. That will become the feed chamber there, the, this piece here. But now what I'm going to do is go ahead and pause the camera here in a second. And then I'm going to change tips, and I'm actually going to use the grinding well here. And I'm going to grind that smooth and make it where it's not so sharp. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, I changed the tips on here, so I'm just going to go ahead and smooth this out and make it nice and clean here. This takes a few minutes. Okay, once you got it all cleaned up here, what we'll do is, uh, you can see the opening here, will actually sit like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some bolts in there so it actually comes up off the ground here. So what we'll do here is I got Why do you want it off the ground? So the air gets underneath it and allows the draft to come up underneath. It's got holes in the bottom already. So what I've done is i got a couple bolts here. And what I do is I just start one about like this. And I put it into the bottom, into the corner, and then start the bolt itself in there. Because most of the time you're going to be doing this in some type of rubbish or something. And so by creating a block here, it will get it up off the ground here. So I'll go ahead and get these on and tighten them down and I'll show you. Okay. So what I'm doing here is just got one more to go here. And I'll be the one that doesn't pick. <laughs> Makes it hard for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just had to get the outside wrench on there. And then you just tighten these all down. And because they're against each other, with the metal in between, they self-tighten each other. You don't need locking nuts or washers or anything like that. Okay. 
And so what it does is it created four legs here. By doing so, you can put it on the ground there, fill it up with your items, and then go ahead and have yourself a hobo stuff. Go ahead and pause. And what else? What else we got when I had, went ahead and got was the uh, children's set of the IKEA pots and pans. So, on this, say there, it's going to be the wok, the frying pan. We even got the steamer with the pot. So you can put your vegetables. These are great when you're going out in the bush for yourself. You have the full set there. Um, I just thought it made sense to have the whole set there. Um, and there, you're going to add your your small timber in there. And it allows the ventilation to get through, air underneath. And before you know it, you'll have boiling water or your dinner cooked or whatever you would like. And what we also got was the trivet uh, from Ikea that can actually go on top of it if you have a larger pan or if your, your frying pan can also go up on top of that, get a little more frame. Uh, also, if you're cooking sausages or hot dogs or something, you can actually just put that right on top of the, and this is the Ikea trivet. Um, normally you put it on the counter and let the hot pan sit on it so it doesn't burn the countertop but it also fits quite well on there. Uh, all of this is stainless steel, so it's nice uh, for your outdoor use. Um, this is just goes in our bug out bag um, to carry out. If we ever go outside the off-grid Jeep, we have something extra there just to, for the bush there. So I just want to share that with you and the construction of it. Um, once again, I thank Karen Ch Chaney. I believe is her name. I will put her link in the description down below and give her credit for uh, sharing that originally with us. Um, I believe she got it from somewhere else and that's what this is all about is uh, passing it on, getting everybody uh, uh, share the knowledge and share the, the wealth there. So I uh, thank you for uh, watching, subscribe, like, and comment and hope you have a wonderful day. I got wood to get back to but I just want to take a short break there and show you how that was made. Have a wonderful day. All right, I'm taking over now. You're done with fireside time with Jeep. Um. Hey folks, um, make sure that's cold <laughs> before I put on gloves. All right, uh, we let the hot chocolate sit. Um, it's pretty warm still. It's not too hot that I can't touch it for long periods of time. <laughs> um, but we have it already. Mm. Really good. <laughs> All right, uh, like, comment, su subscribe. You'll get some more silly videos uh, from me up on my channel. These are just videos because I'm bored. Um, so just like, subscri subscribe, and comment, and I'll know what kind of videos to put on. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to make a saw video here shortly uh, about Jeep and his new toy. I mean, <clears throat> tool. Um, <laughs> well... Catch you later. Bye.